Hi, in this video we'll be looking for data validation, some more features, let's say input messages, we have something error alerts, how to circle invalid data and how do we clear validation circles. Now on the screen if you see, I have some numbers written, this some blank data over here, that is number 900, 750, 250. Now what I want is, I'll just, I want to insert the data validation of whole numbers in this column. So what I'll do is, I'll just use the, go to data tab, data validation and I'll go to settings. I want the limit as for whole numbers between 10 to 100. So I'll select here as whole number between 10 to 100 and click on OK. So once I click on OK, the rule is applied on this area. Now if I try to enter some number here, let's say if I enter here 25, it is accepted. If I enter here 900, it is not accepted. The reason is validation is between 10 to 100. And if I click on cancel, but now if you observe before applying a validation rule, I had some data in that, let's say 700, 950, uh, 750, 900 and 250. Now these are invalid data. So I have an option for data validation. If you see here in the data validation, there's an option circle invalid data. So once I click on this option, you can see the invalid data which is now there is been circled. So if you want, you can understand. Now you can just go here and correct it. You can see it is 25, not 900. The circle will automatically go away. Now if you accept this numbers, you want to keep it as it is. So what you can do is, you can just go to data validation and you can ask them to clear validation circles. So once you click on clear, the circles will go away. So this was one method. But now, next one is about the information message. Now if you keep a cursor here, when the user is using for the first time, he doesn't know that it has to type between 10 to 100. So you can uh, help him to understand that is the input message. So same method, you can just go to the data validation. You can bring this dialog box, input message, show input message when the cell is selected and you can type any data here that is kindly enter values between 10 to 100 and click on OK. So now whenever you keep your cursor in any cell, OK, I have applied only for this cell. So if you keep a cursor in this cell, you will get the information messages. Now, but when you when you just up enter some invalid data, let's say if I try to enter some invalid data, let's say if I enter 700, enter. So I get this error message. The error message says the value doesn't match the data validation and so on. What I can do is, I can customize the error message. The message can be according to my requirement and I can just help user to understand not to repeat the message. So what I'll do is, I'll select this data and I'll go to data validation and yeah, in this error alert, I'll just type my own message. What is that message is? Yeah, so that is error alert, kindly enter valid values. So now if next time any person enters some invalid number that is more than the required one and if you press enter, you might get an error message. So now if I enter some value, let's say in this cell, if I enter value which is greater than that is 800 and when I press enter, so I'll get that same error alert which I have typed. So you see that is kindly enter valid values. Now if you observe carefully, there are three buttons which will be given here, retry, cancel and help. So it is not allowing me to enter invalid data, no options. So I can just keep on retry and it will come in the edit mode. So now what is the solution for this? Suppose I want to enter some data, sometime I want to enter data which is actually valid. So I can just go and change the settings. What is the setting is, I'll select this data and I'll go to data validation. And you see here, there's an option as stop. The three options are given, one is stop, warning and informations. So I'll select the warning, you see the icon has changed. If I select the information, the icon has changed. Now we have seen the stop, there were three buttons, retry, cancel and help. I'll go for the third one, second one, that is warning. So once I click on warning and click on OK, now this value, if I try to type that is 800 and press enter, now you can see early it was retry, cancel and help, now it has changed to yes, no, cancel and help. So yes means it is accepting it, but it is throwing a warning, right? So if I say yes, the value is accepted. Remember, I've applied a data validation, but still it is accepting. The reason is I have changed the settings in error alert.
right so that was i have made it as warning let's see what is the third one that is the information so i'll just select the values again and i'll go for data validation i'll try to change the settings this is the settings i'll change here i'll change into information see the icon has changed once i click on okay and now what i'll do is i'll type here some value other other than the value so if i type here value 9 remember 9 is an invalid value press enter now see what is the message given here it says kindly enter valid values this is correct error alert that is also correct but if you see that's information now the buttons have changed that is okay cancel and help so three buttons are here so information will inform you warning will ask you yes or no confirm it uh, and the third one is stop it will not allow you to do it so based on your requirement which is useful you can use the option and i'll just click on ok so the number is accepted so i hope you have understood in this video we have seen different types of error alerts that is stop warning and information we have seen how to circle invalid data clear validation circles and input messages that's all for this video thank you